Hello everyone, welcome to this week's art lesson. This is Miss Maral here. I hope you all are doing great and you had a great Bayram holiday. Okay, I started right away as you see. So I have last week's drawing in front of me. Uh, I will start with adding some details. So I'm getting um, rid of some extra lines some sketch lines which will not help me on my drawing i'm erasing them then i am starting to put on some details considering my horizon line and which is my eye level so some of the ovals are actually the ovals of the cap of my glass is um over my horizon line so i can't see in the ovals i just see the top of them and yeah i'm just fixing my lines i'm not adding any light or shade at this point i'm just fixing my lines adding some thicknesses to my glasses and if you remember, I had a, a transparent glass and I also had a green glass, which, my, which was my big bottle. So I will consider that when I'm shading this drawing. As you see, I'm always turning, rotating my uh, paper I will I'm, I'm trying to find an easy way to draw you should also do the same you should find how your hand works more comfortably more easy so if you're struggling to draw a straight line maybe you need to rotate your paper okay I just decided my light source which is on left top corner of my paper now I'm retracing my object I'm putting some darkness on the darker areas so if my light source is on left top the writer sides of my objects are slightly darker than the other side but here be careful don't do them too dark and left sides too light because it then won't look like one object consider that these objects are all around the same color they're glass, they're transparent or translucent. So you can't do something quite different while you're tracing. I just started to do some shading. I started from my darkest object, which in this case is my big green glass bottle. And of course I can see I can still see that big bottle through my glass through my standing glass so I added that darkness over there as well and I started to shade if you recognize from the darkest areas of my every single object so a little bit of shading to every single object of yours just a little bit don't start with a very very dark shade at the beginning just layer them up step by step take it easy take your time this is supposed to be a relaxing process
and always consider your light source and build your shades up so I put a very light first tone all around my object composition now I'm adding a second layer of tone which is a darker tone I'm adding it all again all around my composition not only one stop spot I'm not starting and finishing one single object at a time but I'm putting a little of shading all around my composition And again, recognize how I'm holding my pencil when I'm putting on some details. I'm holding more from the tip, but when I'm doing shading, I'm just holding it loosely all the way from the top of my pencil. And my goal here is differentiate the dark green glass and transparent glass. So these glasses over here are quite different than the bottle back there. So I'm trying to show with with a uh, with the details and the shading I'm putting on. Here you can remember our first week when we draw only one single glass. So use that knowledge of yours to shade these objects. And of course, don't forget to consider the light, the light source every single time. might be a little hard to show the light so you can use your eraser to lighten up some areas this is not the best way to do it but you can always use your eraser if you need so And again just take your time layer your shades over and over don't start and finish one object and move to the next this is not the correct way to do shading the goal here is see your drawing as one whole of course you guys drew different kinds of compositions so you might not have a dark glass like mine then you don't need to differentiate colors like like I did so the only thing you need to do then is to separate the object behind and front and then put some glow the objects in the front and don't forget to work on the glass texture as you see I added I added the darkest areas to separate the objects which were front and behind 
Um, I forgot last week to add the table line, but here I did, and I put a little bit of shading, sorry, shadow next to my uh, glass. You can do it, you don't have to, only shading the objects are fine to me. Okay, guys, this is all for this week, and I see you all next week. Bye, guys.